station on space to ground. Touchdown. Welcome to Space to Ground, I'm Dan Hewitt. Tim Copra, Tim Peake, and Yuri Malenchenko landed safe and sound over the weekend. Before they left, Copra handed over command of the space station to fellow NASA astronaut Jeff Williams. Jeff, congratulations. You're now the commander of the International Space Station. Thank you. Williams remains on board along with cosmonauts Oleg Skropochka and Alexei Ovchinin as part of Expedition 48. Landing day is always a long one for station crews and it all starts with saying farewell. The departing trio said their goodbyes before loading into their Soyuz spacecraft. After closing the hatches and getting suited up, they undocked from the Rosviet module to begin the several hour journey home. Using the spacecraft's engines to brake, they descended through the Earth's atmosphere and landed right on target in southeastern Kazakhstan. Search and recovery forces got them out quickly to enjoy their first breath of fresh air in 186 days. Six months in space certainly seems like a lot, but what about over 800 days in space? Britain's Tim Peake was the rookie amongst the crew and now has 186 days in space on his resume. NASA astronaut Tim Copra just wrapped up his second mission and now has 244 days orbiting the Earth. For Russian cosmonaut Yuri Malenchenko, this marked the sixth time he's returned from space, racking up an incredible 828 days in space in his career, enough for second place all time amongst space travelers. That's a lot of frequent flyer miles. Keep sending us your questions using the hashtag space to ground. We'll see you next week.